Hi everybody, it's Daisy Update 1.15 day. So <laughs> on console we're all itching to be able to do something like this or probably you guys are going to do something much much better. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can turn off the clipping features on your private Nitrado community server for console for PlayStation, Xbox and PC actually. It works just as well um, that enables you to build virtually anywhere and to be able to stack things as well so this has all gone live with daisy update 1.15 i'll put the link to the blog post and importantly the patch notes and also there is a nice little file from bohemia active on their wiki about the daisy gameplay settings for the uh, cfg gameplay.json that kind of goes into a little bit of detail about what these settings are. So without further ado though, let's dive in and show you how you disable clipping. Now, you're gonna to want to go to your Nitrado um, servers and you'll want to click on the web interface here on the, the right hand side. And that will then take you into the server's web interface. And then we want to go to the general settings. And then we want to scroll down to the bottom. And it says enable CFG gameplay.json. So all you do is you tick that and then you save the changes. Then I'll probably do a restart actually as well. And then you want to go into the file browser. And then you want to go into the Daisy missions folder. So it'd be PS missions or Xbox missions. On PC, you've got to dig down a little bit further to get to the missions folder. Um, and this is a Chernerus uh, server, so it's Chernerus Plus. If it was Livonia, it'd be Enoch. And then you go into that folder. So we click on that one. And then in the root kind of directory of the missions, you're looking for the CFG or the config gameplay.json. So there it is. Now, I don't normally recommend you edit um, files uh, as part of the web interface, but as these are really simple ed ed edits, um, it's, it's, it's quite easy to do. Now the first things you may want to do is um, disable base damage and container damage. Now these should be set to one, uh, set to zero just for default value. So zero means no, and one means yes. But we have a couple of like negative negatives here. So if you want to disable base damage, then you have to turn this to to uh, to one. So that means people won't be able to get into bases by smashing the walls down. Disable container damage. Now turn that to one. Now what you'll probably have to do with that is you might have to have a chat with the people on your server as well because that can make it very difficult. If you build something by mistake and can't dismantle it from the other side like a wall and you've got to try and smash it up, well you can't if you've disabled base damage so the stuff is like there permanently. So it may be that people say, look, we don't have base raiding. Let's just not ha let's have that at zero. So that those two, disable base damage one, disable container damage one, and then we scroll down, and here we go. This is the one. So base building data and construction data. These are the ones. Now, for the default values, these will all be zero. But we want to turn all of these to one. So, for example, the first one, disabled is colliding BB box check one. So we're, we're enabling that. We say, yes, disable that. So let's go back to the um, Bohemian Interactive um, Bit, and we can see so what does that mean so disable colliding bb box check means allows placement where the hologram is colliding with objects in the world so you know when you're trying to put down a fence kit and maybe there's a rock in the way or you're doing it inside a building that will enable you to do that disable is colliding player check allows placement when the hologram is colliding with the player so if you're in the way you can do it or your mate disable is clipping on the roof allows placement where placing would cause clipping with the roof Disable is base viable check, allows placement of dy on dynamic objects and otherwise incompatible base. So a dynamic object is something that could disappear. Okay, so you can build on top of helicopter crashes. Disable is colliding GP uh, garden plot check, allows placement of garden plot despite incompatible service types. Now, I've said, you know, to, to allow this one, but it enables people to put garden plots onto concrete and things like that. So you might decide that's not great. Disabled is colliding angle check, allows placement despite exceeding roll pitch your limits. So again, so you can build on, on um, slopes basically. Disabled is placement permitted, allows placement event when not permitted by rudimentary checks. Um, again, this stops clipping, enables you to build on top of other structures. Disable height placement check, allows placement with limited height space. 
so things will build through each other disable is underwater so it allows you to place things underwater so you, you could build a watchtower in the middle of a lake how cool is that disabled is in terrain allows placement when clipping with terrain uh, disable perform roof check allows construction when clipping with the roof Disable is colliding, allows construction when colliding with objects in the world. Disable distance, distance check, prevents construction when players get below a specified range. I'm not quite sure what that means, but it may be when you're getting too close to something, but, but you can disable that. Now, so you basically, you, you put all those to one and p disable performing roof check, is colliding check, disable distance check, one. So that's all one. And then you save the changes and then you'll want to restart your server. Now, just because you've done all these things doesn't mean you can build almost anywhere. There will still be limits, and also when you're placing things, there may still be some limits as well. So, for example, in 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 this example, where I was trying to build... Um, so what I've done here is I've stacked watchtowers on top of each other, so there's two watchtowers, and then I tried to build out sideways, but as you just could see, I couldn't keep building out that way. What I had to do was I had to have at least two of the um, posts on the existing one, so it was kind of going out at an angle. Um, but you can see we're building on quite a, a steep slope here. Um, in the background, what you can actually there, see there is a, a fence stacked on top of a gate. So this enables you to do double height gates, triple height gates, quadruple height gates or walls. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see what everybody out there in the console and the PC world come up comes up with because this enables us to do this sort of thing without having to rely on mods and it makes the existing building tools this is why it's so clever. It makes the existing come up, fairly rudimentary building tools that we have in DayZ actually pretty powerful. Pretty powerful indeed. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully you found this uh, useful. Um, if you have hit the like button, if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon.